still haven't done my wheel bearings. They're still loud as shit. Not a lot of crazy stuff going on today. Honestly, I just wanted to make a video for you guys because it's been a really long time. I felt like I should pick up the camera and just talk to you guys for a little bit. On my way to Jake's house right now, we just pulled his motor out yesterday. Uh, again, when I get there, I'll let him explain why we're doing it, like what's going on. But that's where I'm going right now. I'm just going over to Jake's and um, yeah, we're just we're just kind of chilling today. It's more of a day in the life video. So hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, I'll put the camera down and I'll pick it up in a second. What's up, Jake? Hola. What are we doing today, big guy? We're gonna have to restart the beginning of this. I'm doing just a quick little oil change on my car. I'm throwing 540 in this time instead of just 530. It's cold, and if you want to have some thicker oil in the winter, you can because it's cold. We're getting, we're totally cutting all of this out. Okay, but they were curious. Dude, when I zoom in, this shit's crazy. So we pulled up on some ramps because we realized that was a better idea. And it took four tries, but I did it. And I almost hit Jake's car, but it's fine. All right, I got this draining, or I think might be done draining. I manhandled that filter because, you know, I'm a mechanic. So, so as y'all saw, the car ran as of like July. The car was fine. Uh, it was throwing like some weird timing codes, but nothing that stayed, nothing historic, so we didn't really care. And then we were looking for an oil leak and a coolant leak after the car went to the dyno. Which? Uh, because it blew a brake line, and then we noticed it had some other leaks. So, as in the process of diagnosing where the leaks were coming from and trying to figure out all that kind of dealio, we noticed that there was a big old chunk taken out of my timing belt. Took a big old nice chunk out of there. Oof. Keep it super long story short. It was like... But long, long of the short is uh, make sure you double check all of your work. Yeah. Um, and make sure that you check your work before you take it to your tuner. I, I'm going to be honest. I'll say this. Out of everyone in our friend group, these two cars right here are a perfect example of like, hey, just double check. New axles, new brakes, fix the motor up, get everything tightened up, get it to the dyno this time and actually get it, you know, tuned properly. This is the guy that drives the, the Yoda out there. Yeah. Andrew is the GR Corolla owner. Andrew yeah. makes 330 wheel. Yeah, he's, he, the, thinks, he, he thinks he's cool because he has three cylinders. What do you make three wheel? What do you make wheel? Uh, I thought pretty. I thought it was cut this. This is stupid. Pretty sure it was three. Make sure you cut this. Yeah, that's where we're at with this car. Everything is kind of in pieces right now. Um, we are trying to work on getting more stuff on the BYO Builds page um, eventually. Gross. We're just um, busy. Did you say gross? No, not 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 to you guys. Oh. Sorry. Absolutely. Why are you holding a bird? I don't know. He's such a weirdo. I don't know, man. I don't know how to do this. I'm not the one who usually records. It's Pedro that records. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't ever hold the camera. Yeah. And his 8,000 mile oil filter. Why would you make tell sure him you, that? Make sure you guys remember Why to do would your you oil say change. that? I'm going to expose Now the f Now they're going to think that I don't know what I'm doing. I don't. I never know. I'm going to hand doing. you guys back to you. Absolutely owner. not. Ab no, you're not. No, you're not going to hand them back to me. Do you see my hands right now? All right, guys. I'll see you later. <laughs> It is a whole other day, guys. Super sorry. This is a very short video, but I just wanted to kind of break down like what the plans are for 2024 and pretty much like what we're just gonna be getting into. Hi. <laughs> this, is, this is Sam, everybody. And What's Sam, up? Sam's over here helping me get Sabrina to look not like shit. This is all just temporary because body filler didn't even stick to it. Pretty much chipped right off. And exposing bare metal to the New England elements, it would just screw up all the progress they already did. Yeah. Putting a new panel on there. I primed it with a cheap can of primer. This isn't how I would prefer to do it, but for the meantime, it's gonna have to do. All this is gonna come off anyway, because the wells need to be properly ground down, and then this needs to be thoroughly body working. Oh yeah, and also, <laughs> a wide body kit. We're going with the WRC kit. So these are the uh, 50 millimeter rear over fenders. I have the 30 millimeter rear, oh, oh my gosh, 30 millimeter front over front fenders coming in soon. So I'm super excited. And that also means that we're gonna have to get. Ask yourself, 
Hello, Jacob. What are you doing up in South Carolina again? On vacation. But I wanted to end the video nicely for you guys. So thank you for watching. Um, comment, like, subscribe. And we're going to get more content out for you guys as soon as I get back. Love you all. Merry Christmas and uh, Happy New Year. I love you in